Uh, this is the film where we're going to go through the circle and ellipse tools, this time using the snaps with the snaps automatically on rather than using the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, for the snaps, um, snap modes, you can see here that I've turned on vertex snap, center snap and the intersection snap, just those three. We could try do others but it keeps it simple. Snap down here is black and geo is black, so they're turned on. So we have the circle, which is straightforward. We just click, left click in the middle, draw, draw your circle, left click again, or uh, left click in the circle, type the radius down the bottom, or if you don't want to do the radius, which I wouldn't, I'd do diameters, click on here, diameter, and it'll give the diameter. And again, the circle. Now, when I click here, I'm going to drop the tool. If I want the tool back again, I've got to right click and pick the tool again or I can hit the space bar but if we're going to draw several circles we can come down here and click onto this thing here which says multiple which means we keep the tool okay so we can use it lots of times now if in while using the tool perhaps you want to hatch in the tool uh, each time you could right click and go to properties here and choose hatch or down here it says there properties hatch you could just click on here choose a hatch and say OK and then when you draw the circles they'll all have the hatches in. Okay. Click onto that to change it take it back to none do OK we've still got this on so we've still kept the tool and we're in circle mode still. I'll turn that off. Draw a couple of lines. Oops. Okay, circle by two points. So if I wanted a circle going through the center of this circle and hitting that point there, because my circle center snap and vertex are on, I can just click on here and there. Three points, same deal. If I wanted it going through, uh, let's have a, uh, let's draw another line. Circle by three points. If I want it going through, that's an intersection, which I've got turned on. That's a vertex. You could have midpoint, but I didn't turn midpoint on, so we'll just do another vertex here. So it's gone through the three points we've specified. Uh, circle, tangent, tangent, and then radius. So if I draw, I'll show you this one works. I want it tangential, a circle tangential to this line and that line. So there's my circle, it's tangential to those two lines. And then down the bottom here, I can type in whatever radius I want. Or again, if I click on D, uh, the diameter. Okay? So you specify the two lines it's going to be tangential to and the radius or diameter. Tangential to three lines, uh, three, yeah, three th straight lines. So one, two, three. Concentric, where well you can just click on, do it by eye and keep doing it. Uh, then when you've finished, you can right click and go to the finish flag, or you can type them in. So you can go click. So you can go tab radius uh, 400 hit return, tab, radius, 500, hit return, tab, 6, 7, T, hit return. So you can do it that way. Uh, obviously the other things I've said, you can choose the diameter rather and you can keep the tool by hitting the multiple. When you finish, hit finish. Tangent, uh, circle tangential to uh, an arc or a circle okay, is click on here first click gives you the size of the circle and the second click says where it is this one's tangential to a line so click here again click onto the line first one says how big it is second one where it is and lastly tangential to three circles that one can be just a little bit on a tricky side at the beginning uh, but here's how it works Oops.
Now, in this one, <coughs> when you uh, click onto it, you've got to make the, an arrow comes out. I'll show you. I'll do it wrong first. I'll click onto there. See that arrow is pointing that way. You need it pointing towards the center because that's where you want the circle. So if I go back one. Please select no no I repeat select on the circle. Okay, now I want a circle in the center here. So here it is, tangential to three arcs. Where I click this circle, you can imagine if there's a line going between the center of these circles to here, and if I click there, oh I got it wrong again. Blimey. Repeat select, let's go through it again. Let's do this one first. Up there, so about there. That's clicking wrong the wrong way. So you can see how I've done this a few times and I'm still getting it wrong. Let's have another go. Right, that's the right way. Now this one, that's going in. And this one, please, that's done it. Okay, so it can be a little bit tricky, that one. You might have to do it once or twice before you get it right. Uh, Incidentally, one little tip between before I go on to the ellipses is that sometimes people will lose tools around here. They might lose the tools down here or up the top or they might lose the inspector bar down the bottom. You, you notice on this one I've taken out the command line this time. Um, they might lose something. I don't know why they've lost it. Uh, if that's the case, it's easy, they're easy to get back. Where it says tools, customize, options, it says default. If you click onto there, it says something like, do you really want to do it? This is going to reset the factory uh, default uh, user interface. It doesn't say those words, but that's what it means. Um, <clears throat> if that's what you want to do, just click on yes. Um, you won't lose any of your drawing. It'll just reset the screen to back to the default screen so that uh, any tools you might have lost uh, will appear again. Okay, so let's go on to the ellipse. Now, first... First ellipse, uh, let's get rid of that. Let's draw some line, straight lines again that we can use as guides. So the first ellipse, we are drawing not from the center of the ellipse, but from the edge. So if I wanted an ellipse from here to there, I can click on here and there, and then I can move that around. And down the bottom you see there's a major or minor and you just type in what your major or minor is, size is. Okay. This second one goes from the center, so that's the same deal, only this time if I click on here, you'll see the center of the ellipse is on the end of that line because I've got my vertex snap on. And again, you can type in the minor axis there. The third one is the rotated ellipse, same deal, only this time you've got a chance of typing in an angle down the bottom. You can type in the major, the anger, uh, angle, and the minor axis. If I just do it by eye, you can sit up here. It's as simple as that. And then uh, this one, what's this one? This one is this one is an ellipse that is horizontal or vertical. And here you simply type the major or minor axis down the bottom here. Obviously, they'll swap around depending upon the orientation. And uh, this one, a fixed ratio. So it'll default to two. So the ratio between a major and minor axis is two. If I want to complete, uh, keep that and tab into this radius, type say eight, it'll be much longer and thinner. Okay, and then we go on to the the arcs. Uh, one word before we go on to the arcs is that the split tool can be used, which usually uses a circle, but can be used with ellipses as well. So if I choose a, uh, I'm going to choose an ellipse here. Uh, where shall I do? It? I'll just end it there. I can go to the modify tool, the split. I can split this ellipse from that intersection to that intersection. Select that bit and get rid of it. I can right click, repeat break. I can select that one and do it from here to there. Click onto that bit 
to take that bit out. <coughs> so the uh, you got to remember the split tool works with ellipses as well. After that, we have uh, the uh, arcs, and all you got to remember with arcs is it's the same as circles. So this tool is the same as that one. So we're drawing one end of the ellipse to the other end of the ellipse, and then if we draw clockwise, we take away. If we draw anti-clockwise, we draw. Okay, so that one is the same as this. The second one is the same as the second one there. So it's the same deal, only we start from the center. So if I went to the center there, I could do that. And then clockwise, take it away. That's an intersection. And uh, Again, do it here. I'll snap onto that. Anti clockwise. If I take, uh, what should I take? I'll take there, all the way around, say, to there. Okay. This one, same deal. Uh, horizontal or vertical. And uh, this one is again, same thing fixed ratio. So this time again it defaults to the ratio of 2 and you can also type in the start and end angle um, and that's all there is to it or obviously you can start drawing it and then type that in afterwards but you can see the angle here you can see what the angle is supposed to be down here. Okay that's about it quite straightforward uh, once you know how one works the rest are, uh, are pretty easy really. So I think I'll uh, pack it in now